before we dive into the video, let's jump straight into the sales that we've had over the last couple of days. First of all, starting with eBay. Now I sent out some crazy offers over the weekend, just trying to clear stuff off, wasn't taking any notice of postage, wasn't caring about anything, just sending out the offers and accepting loads of offers. First of all, four pound all in for this vintage Buckingham tin. Buckingham Palace, I think it's like George V or whatever it is. George VI even, George V. George VI, four pound all in, owes me nothing now. Avon Rare Rubies, these can sell for like 12 to 15 pound, I sold mine. $9.99, $9.99. Again, I think it's actually part of the same bundle as that tin and the rest of the stuff owes me nothing anymore. Avon Rare Ruby, there's also another version, I can't remember the shape of it, that sells really well as well. I know, Avon, Avon, some good money in Avon stuff. Another big bargain, Dougal from the Magic Roundabout, this is from 1993, still with the tags, people are getting like 24, 25. I accepted an offer of 15 pound on this one, paid a pound, if that. $9.99 for an Xbox 360 power supply brick. All part of my electrical bundle, last one of these to go now. Now I can start going through the box again that I've got and start separating some more wires out and doing it all again. My first eBay fee-free clothing sale, 22 pound. We've sold a set of these Gill Salopettes. They're like waterproof wading trousers. Size small, owe me 50 pence from a car boot sale. It's all for 22 pound. It was beautiful to see the little transaction bit where it said no fees. Lovely. I have been listing a few bits of clothing on eBay just to give it a tester. I like it. Still not getting the same traction that I would on Vinted. £25 all in for this Matchbox Play, is it Live and Play boot or Play and Learn? Live and Learn play boot. Slide, gates, people. It has got tons and tons of extras with it. This one is actually off to, is it Mexico? Where's it going? Hold on. It's going for the GSP. I'll switch my GSP back on but remove the countries that I need to remove because I can. US, it's going abroad anyway. And for 28.76, Andy has picked this up for his daughter. Oh, I can't show you, it's got, the, it's got the cover on. But it's a Goodman's CD player with speakers, power supply, and all that kind of stuff. The CD player's never been used. Fantastic deal, I paid 10 pound for the charity shop. Sold it for 28.76. Sat around for a little while to be fair. So Andy, I do appreciate you mate, thank you so much. And hope your granddaughter loves it. Daughter, granddaughter, daughter. I hope your daughter loves it. Moving swiftly into Vinted now. Two pounds and 22 pence, we have sold the original Pokemon collector's list where you've got to sort of check off all the ones that you've got, the originals, just a nice little piece to have, I suppose. Two pounds, 22 on Vinted, so no fees. Helen has picked up the Schleich horse. Schleich horse for her grandson, so I really appreciate that. That sold for four pounds, 44 pence, I think. I haven't actually got the figures up here, so I'm actually guess working right now. Never look. Let me get it right. Four pounds, 44, yeah. Shirley, the lovely lady who picked up the in-car DVD player for her grandson, has also picked up the Tesco exclusive Millennium 2000 paperweight. She collects paperweights. Sold for three pounds, 33 pence. Thank you, Shirley. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy figure has sold for two pounds, 22. Part of a bundle that I picked up, so it owes me nothing. Brasher walking boots have sold for six pounds and 66 pence. I said walking boots, walking shorts, because I'm so used to selling Rasher, Rasher. Slow down. I'm so used to selling Brasher walking boots that I said boots instead of shorts. Owe me 50p. And a vintage Pepsi sportswear badge has sold for three pounds and 33 pence. Peter's picked that one up, so I really appreciate you, Peter. And that's everything for the sales over the last couple of days. I was supposed to get my hair cut today, but my barber couldn't make it, unfortunately. He's been trying to ring me all morning, but obviously couldn't get through to me because I've got a new number again yesterday. So I've had three new numbers in the last month. So I've got to cut my own hair this weekend because it's my birthday on Saturday. Nope, it's my birthday on Sunday. So I want to look fresh on my birthday. Not that I'm doing much. I want to look fresh for it, you know what I mean? But luckily I've got some barber skills. I can do that myself. Just prefer not to. Emma's going away today from two o'clock for the weekend on my birthday. Can you believe it? And then Ada's going to Hanana's tomorrow in the morning. So I've got a Saturday all to myself. So I might go play some poker. It's my birthday. I don't need an excuse to go play poker, to be honest. But yeah, just diving back onto this GPSR stuff, Big Al has released another video where he's actually spoken to eBay's legal team. Now, I was a businessman. He gets stuff done the way that he needs to get it done. You know what I mean? He's also printed out the whole of, I think it's the whole of Article 51. He's just gone through everything. Everything. He's released a 40-odd minute video. If you go over to his page and check it out, he will explain everything in detail. Everything. 
So I think I'm going to leave the updates, the best updates, to him. So I will just I will guide everybody to go over there. Go and subscribe. Go check him out. Fantastic, fantastic bloke. He'd, I've watched all of the stuff he does. Plays with diggers, renovates houses, does it all. Sells on eBay, does it all. But yeah, that's basically all I've got to say on the GPSR stuff. Any more until any more big updates come out. My advice is go and see Big Al's latest video. I went to the charity shop yesterday. Let me show you what I picked up. I just keep finding them. £3.50. No, £2.50. This is cheaper than the last one, which is free. Oh. Oh, that's why. But it still won't be worth it for me to nick the collar. I can nick the collar. It's got a little bit of stitching come out just there. Well, not stitching. It's popped just there. A bit weird. It's still worth £2.50, if I'm honest. Now, I think this is from In the Night Garden. Is it a Ninky Nonk or a Tomley Nonk or a Tomley Boo or something? I'm not sure, but that was only a pound. This, these sort of stuff can sell really well, or it might not. Another full set of Tinky Winkies, not Tinky Winkies, <laughs> what are they called again? Teletubbies, £3.50. These are from 2020, but I told you I'll always pick up the full set. I don't pick up individuals, I can't be bothered to wait until you find them. It reminds me of picking up Harry Potter sets and just waiting until you get a whole set. Can't be asked. This was £2, it's an ironing board. But it's not just any old ironing board. It's a Beldre Universal. It's not just any old Beldre Universal. It's a sleeve ironing board. It's an ironing board for a sleeve. It is missing one of his little feet. But these you can get between 12 to 30 pound, depending on the style, condition, the market, and who wants one. You know? How do you? Oh god. Got my finger we're gonna get chapped. That's quite a cool little piece, isn't it? Beldre Universal. This is smart. I'm going to list this for about 35 quid. People have been selling them for like 20 odd quid. No, no, I think that's too cheap, if I'm honest. British Home Stores, made in Italy. Veneta Lumi lamp, paid £4. £4. Got the gooseneck. I've got a bulb up there. I'll give it a test out. I'm going to list that for about 35 quid. And I, won't mind. I don't mind sitting on that. I'll let, I'll let this become one of the higher ones. Just a really smart little piece. Really nice colour as well, brown. Be better if it's in like bright red or bright yellow. Veneta Lumi. Stick that in your info bank and smoke it. I haven't even looked this up yet. It was £1.50. Game of Thrones, Westeros game. It's, I'm either going to get my 150 back or I'm going to double up or I'm going to make 10 quid on it. I haven't looked at it yet. I really haven't. So I'll do some digging while, the me while I'm editing. Game of Thrones, Westeros intrigue. I've got a funny feeling it's, money, it's a money back situation. Now this one's a unusual one because it's uh, Guy Harvey. and they, they can, Guy Harvey can sell quite well. £4.50. It's got a nice, it's a nice little pocket tee with a little Guy Harvey hit on the front. But on the back, you've got massive, massive marine print. Just a really nice t-shirt. Guy Harvey stuff can sell quite well, like 18 pound a t-shirt. So I'm hoping that's what we can get out of this one. We'll just have to see. But it's four pounds 50. I've got a game in there that's gonna flash back to some of you. I didn't even realize what it was. I saw it was an older game. I looked at it, opened it up, and then I had all the memories come flashing back. Just hang about for that one. This was £4. I picked it up because obviously it's quite snazzy. It's by a company called Paladin. I'd never heard of it before. Done some research, and they mainly sell in America. This is a woman's one. But look at the design on it and the big spell out on the back. And they sell between £5 and £50 for a pre-owned cycle in Jersey. So I was like, what the f what is this? What is this price range? So I just picked it up, paid £4 for it. We'll see what happens, won't we? We'll just have a punt on it. And a little staple. Foldo by Pringle, little collaboration one. These just sell really quickly. And they're all in good sizes as well, larges and extra larges. That was £4.50. I'm hoping for like 15 on that. And this, are you ready? Busy Buzzy Bumbles. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that looks, that looks quite, that looks a bit older. And then I opened it, and as soon as I opened it, I kind of went, vroom, flashback. We had this at some point in our household, or somebody did. And as soon as I show you this bit, you'll realise, you'll be like, oh yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah? Are you remembering yet? And what about now? There you go. Hello! Busy, busy, buzzies. And then you put your little marbles on here, which are in there. I'm not going to get them out. And you dung, 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 dung. No? Nobody else? Just me? No, but seriously, this was like four pound or three pounds fifty. Three pounds fifty. You can get like eighteen to twenty-five quid for these. And this looks like it's in good condition. I'll test it all out, of course, fully, fully. But I can't be the only one who had that in their household because we didn't have a lot at home, to be fair. So 
So the fact that I remember having this means either we had it or somebody passed it to us, somebody passed it down to us. But yeah, quick little research, £3.50 into approximately 18 quid. So that was what I picked up at the weekend. I couldn't record, obviously. But, oh, no, I've got these as well. How cool are these little snazzers? Little, little fancy fancies, look. Two. I've got two of them. I'll just show you one. Jesus, get out of the way. Little kids' plastic wicker chairs. I think these are Ikea. I can't guarantee it, but I think they might be. They look very Ikea-esque, don't they? They're £2 each, and I picked up two of them. I reckon there's 25, 30 quid there. I don't mind packing them. Easy peasy. So yeah, I've got a really busy weekend ahead of me. I say busy like birthday, I've got family coming over. I'm gonna go out myself Saturday night, take myself to the casino. I've obviously got the rest of the day with Ada today. So we've got to do dance phase, she goes dance class. Bought her some merch from her dance class. They do like t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. I bought her a t-shirt and a hoodie. Really looking forward to giving her that tonight. She'll love it. So yeah, just got a lot, I've just got a bit of a busy weekend coming up ahead of me. So before, obviously now I've got an hour or so free that I didn't have because my barber's had to cancel. So now I'm going to spend this next hour listing or packing this stuff first, getting it packed. Then I'm going to list that stuff that I've picked up. Then I'm just going to take it as it comes, you know. I'm going to do a live stream this weekend, I think. Just, just check in with you guys for a bit, see how that works out. And then just go from there. Looking like there might be a Sunday car boot sale, which is my birthday. My actual birthday is the Sunday. I'll go to that. I don't care. That'd be a great way to spend your birthday. But I want to sell. I don't really want to sell my birthday because it means I'm there till half 12, one o'clock. I think I'm just going to buy if I do. So hopefully we can get a nice little car boot sale video out. Well, I'll get these packed up. If you are missing the car boot sales, go check out this video here. There's a lot of action. It's from a little while ago, but I think you'll really enjoy it.